Hi guys, Brian here at Crashtron, and today I'm just going to take you through some of the new uh, user experience features that have landed for the uh, Microsoft Teams Room systems. So down here on the uh, bottom right hand side, we have the current version that's been available today. Uh, and this is version um, 4.2.4. And we have a new version, um, 4.3. something, I'll work that out in a second. Um, but one of the major changes uh, really to the home screen is the ability to have what we call page flip or room control. That's now back on the home screen just down here on this panel here. So I can click that button and see my room control. So here in this example, I have Crestron Air Media. So I can choose my cable ingest uh, to, into the Teams room system, or I can choose my Air Media, which means I can use Miracast or AirPlay or even the Crestron Air Media app to share my content into the meeting. So now I have instant control uh, to that. Previously, it was on more, and then uh, room control would be listed there if I had a project loaded. So a subtle change, and um, that's what we have there. So the rest of the home screen is the same. As you can see on the uh, this version, I have the dial pad, which means I have enterprise voice enabled, which means I can dial out and receive calls. So let's dive into the new system uh, features and overview. So I'll go into my settings, and uh, we'll, we will see what there is there. So we'll put in my super secure password. That can be changed, remember. And let's do the same over here. So as you can see, we now have two slightly different user experiences. So this is for admins. End users do not come in here and make any changes or do anything day to day. So yeah, 4.2.4 uh, is what I have over here. And on, on the new version, 4.3.23 is what I've got rolled out on here. So uh, really nice change. Um, been able to see the IP address here. And this is really crucial for Crestron because when we set up a system, we need to know the IP address of the, the Windows system we call our UC engine. So we can pair it with the touch controller. So having it here on the, in the MTR app is a really, really nice idea. Um, and probably one thing we notice here is on the new version, we have Cortana set to off. So Cortana, maybe it's something new coming to Teams. So that'll be available shortly, hopefully. Uh, and then we go to our account, which we can see what we can set it up as. Again, this is all here on one page. It's just been broken down here on the new app in a nicer way, so you can granularly define different items. And obviously I've got Teams as my default. I can go to my Skype for Business. Remember, this is all on one page over here under the user account. I can then go to my uh, options that I have on here. So uh, screen sharing, so this is under features, uh, you'll see here. What about the screen sharing uh, and hide meeting names or show meeting names, so this is, um, obviously depending on the uh, calendar and what's set up there. Device, uh, this is again, dual, dual monitor I can do here and I've got it enabled here. Bluetooth beaconing, that's uh, available here, on or off. Um, and that is hidden back under user account uh, here. So again, little change there. And this new feature, automatically accept proximity based meeting invitations. Now this, means is when I start on my laptop and I walk in the room and I want to invite this room to the meeting, it should auto accept the call. Now I've tested this out, not quite working yet, not sure why, maybe I need to update on my desktop client or something or it's not enabled on the back end maybe on Teams, but again, new feature that was announced in this release is that you you still get the ringing, um, but it would auto, uh, auto answer, should we say, uh, in the tr traditional world. So hopefully that'll come soon. Peripherals, and this is where I can obviously then set my um, uh, speakers uh, and microphone for the system. And if I've got a content camera, I can set that. Um, so that's an option available here. And then we go to theming, which is, has not changed. That's the same. You can choose which theme you want there in the background. And window settings. So again, this was a two-step process. I'd have to go to admin sign-in. The minute I hit window settings, it's now taking me there. So it's one little less step, which is nice. So then I can go to the admin portion of the uh, the console. So come out of the kiosk mode, which is a Skype user, and then into the Windows admin mode, which I can then go into and, and make any changes that I need to do. So that's a very simple way of uh, just one button to get into the admin settings side of things. 
So there we have it. That's a quick overview on the new features in the Teams room system that is rolling out across tenants now. So any questions, give us a shout. Thanks. Thank you.